National People's Congress, uh -huh. Constitution of the People's Republic of China. Yes. Now, um, there was, uh, let's see here, fundamental rights and duties of citizens. Yes. And the structure of the state. Yeah. And general principles. Mm. Uh, national flag, national anthem. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, I just took a little look at this. Yeah. And um, what was the amendment that you passed in 2018? Uh, let's see. People's Republic of China, socialist state under the People's Democratic Dictatorship. Yes. Led by the working class and based on the alliance of workers and peasants. Uh, all power in the People's Republic of China belongs to the people. Yes. The state organs of the People's Republic of China apply the principles of democratic centralism. Yes. Yeah. Uh, all ethnicities in the People's Republic of China are equal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The state protects the lawful interest in, uh, rights and interests of the minority ethnicities and upholds <laughs> and develops a relationship of equality, unity, mutual assistance, and harmony <laughs> among all the Chinese uh, ethnicities. Yeah. Now, uh, makes it a social country under rule of law. Mm -hmm. Um, let's see here, uh, rural collective economics, yes, land in the cities is owned by the state, non-public, socialist, public park is, is sacred, citizens, lawful property, uh, private is inviolable, yeah, the state, in accordance with law, protects the rights of citizens to private property and to its inheritance, yes, now, uh, the state may, in public interest and in accordance with law, expropriate or requisition private property, for its use and make compensation for private property expropriated or requisitioned. Mm -hmm. That's uh, eminent domain in China? Yes. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Now, um, this idea that an American citizen has no rights in China? You know, um, I think that I do have rights in China. Mm -hmm. And I think there are a lot of Chinese people that know about uh, some of these videos. Yeah. Because I do think that I did know Hu Jintao and Wen, Wen Jiabo. Now there's the Wen Scrubber, the Wen Water Scrubber, mm -hmm. the HHO Gas Desalinator, yes. Mm -hmm. The Hot Roof Technology, oh, the Wobbler, oh, you who know everything. Now, um, I would think that I do have business interests in China and my right to property, yes, my right to do business in China, is being obstructed by uh, the United States and other nations that refuse to enforce the enumerated rights of myself and the people of China. <laughs> now, these fundamental rights and duties, yes, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. all citizens of the People's Republic of China are equal before the law. Mm -hmm. The state respects and preserves human rights. Yeah. Is that the human rights of the humanitarian conventions that China has signed? Every citizen enjoys the rights prescribed by the Constitution and other laws at the same time must perform the duties prescribed by the Constitution and other laws. Now, um, the citizens of China, yeah, mm -hmm. they want you to go to war so that all their relatives can fight a third world war. Ouch. Or they want mass transportation to remote locations so they can work in Hong Kong. Now, I think a lot of your issues with the uh, property development, yes, mm -hmm. could be solved by a mass transit system. Yeah. It could transport commuters from one location to another location, back and forth, back and forth. <laughs> Now, the personal dignity of citizens of the People's Republic of China is inviolable. Mm -hmm. Insult, ouch, libel, poo, false accusation, or false incrimination directed against any citizen by any means is prohibited. Mm -hmm. Did you know that in China, the false accusation of committing a crime, yes, is prohibited. It does file Article 38 of the Chinese Constitution. Now, this false incrimination... Oh, where somebody said I committed domestic violence and child abuse. In China, it's prohibited. I could sue the Chinese government. Oh, now, let's see. Oh, 
Article 39, residents of citizens of the People's Republic of China uh, are inviolable. Yes. Unlawful search of um, intrusion into a citizen's residence is prohibited. <laughs> Do you know how many times I've been arrested in the United States of America? It's inviolable. Yes. Inviolable. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, uh, freedom and privacy of correspondence with citizens of Pope, People's Republic of China is protected by law. <laughs> Do you know how many emails I have been instructed? Yes. Now, of the 2,600,000 emails, <laughs> this county, yes, this state, yes, refuses to uh, protect my correspondence with those that are in law enforcement. <laughs> this would violate Article 40 of the Chinese Constitution. <laughs> I actually could sue the United States. <laughs> for refusing to enforce cyber laws. <laughs> now let's say, oh, no organization or individual may on any ground infringe upon citizens' freedom and privacy of correspondence, <laughs> except in cases to meet the needs of the state security of criminal investigation. <laughs> Did you know of all the millions of emails that I have sent from the United States of America, <laughs> because I have emailed the Chinese legislature, <laughs> The obstructing of my personal correspondence with the Chinese government would violate Article 40 of the Chinese Constitution. Now, when I tell you, okay, that every time you... Ha, 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 ha.